If you don't know, I'm in the process of publishing my first ebook. And right now, I've been using LibreOffice to write everything. However, one of my viewers turned me on to Kindle Create, and I decided to give it a shot. I've never used the app before, and I thought it was web-based, but it's not. It's an actual program that you can install on PC or on Mac for free. So I'm Michael with Writer Sanctuary, and today I'm going to give Kindle Create a rundown. Okay, remember, this isn't a review. It's a first look. So uh, I would have no idea what's going to happen. I've never used this app before, and it's the first time running it. So here we go. Okay, let's see. Uh, I don't have an existing file, so let's create a new one. Um, is it creating? Well, uh, let's see. New project? Oh, wow. So the create button doesn't work. Alright, format your manuscript for a text-based file for digital publication. Alright, let's see. Uh... I want to use a tutorial? No, fuck it. Okay. Comics? Oh. Cool. That's different. Print replica. Yeah. That gives me ideas. Alright, so, um. Hmm. So, I thought, can I just import my document, maybe? Let's try that. Oh. Um. Right now we're optimizing the document. All right, cool. I guess it's importing my and converting my document. I wonder if I should just copy and paste it. Originally, I wanted to do that simply so that whoa, it expanded. <laughs> now let's take up the whole screen. Fuck. All right, uh, import successful. Cool. So we'll hit continue and then uh, I guess change the video format. Hold on. Hold on, is he? Start by automatically finding and applying potential chapter titles. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, this is gonna fuck things up. Let's give it a shot. Get started. Okay, let's see. Um, cool. Gives me a list of uh, chapter titles. How many pages? Does it show what pages? No. Boom. So if I do that. Okay, what do we got? Uh, keep it all centered, I suppose. Uh, okay. Theme. What's a theme? Uh, classic. Cosmos. Ooh, armor. Eh, armor. Sorry. I don't have a lot of themes. I wonder if you have, have to import them or something. I don't know. It's a lot. Uh, select that one. Uh, we can save it. Uh, preview. Uh, preview it. It looks like on a tablet. I can barely read that. I need glasses badly. <laughs> All right. Um, generator says export your Kindle Create ebook to publish to Kindle. No! The project will not be saved. All right, cool. KCB file. Oh, okay. What else we got? View. Let's view. I oh, we can view it. Cool. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Grammarly works in this here. Let's try to misspell something. First, you really reduce it. Uh-oh. Yep, didn't think so. That's not going to be good. Is there a better? Let's see. Uh, chapter detection. View. Uh, save project. Save project as? What's that? What can we save it as? KCB file. Woo. <laughs> so, using Kindle Create, you can only save it for Kindle stuff. Standard. Oh, block quote. Standard elements. Ooh. Ah! Cool. Uh, how do I put it? Undo. There we go. <laughs> so, if we highlight something here, bam. That'll work. Insert image. Oh, you can also add hyperlinks. Well. I would like to print a book, so I don't think you can use a hyperlink in a printed book. <laughs> That'd be kind of cool, but it doesn't happen that way. What's that? Oh, whoops. Undo. <laughs> Formatting. Okay, font sizes. Um, yeah. Cool, you can change the font size. Uh, advanced font options. 
Mm. Subscript, highlight color. So you got all the basics for editing. Apply drop cap, funk. Oh, no, <laughs> let's don't do that. What should I highlight that? And bam. No, oh, that didn't work. I'll have to figure that out later. I want you to tell me how many pages I've got written so far. Page, what's this? Page title. The title page, copyright, dedication. Oh, I can add table of contents. Here. Your book, you just gotta tap. Any chapter, jump directly to it. All right. Oh, look at that. I just added table of contents. That's kind of convenient, actually. Um, for, 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 let's see, front matter. Okay, yeah, it's front matter. Okay. Uh, I could do a dedication. Oh, a prologue. Oh, a forward. Introduction. Oh, I could do an introduction. That's a good idea. Um, hmm. So I wonder how it all works when you print it out. Paperback version of TFC will include page numbers. Oh, okay. The number of pages varies by trim size. Mm. I wish you could see like how many pages I've got. Because according to this, it's probably quite a few. Yeah, that goes and I'm not even done writing it yet. The body, page, part page, chapter page, back matter. Uh, books by this author. Huh. That's kind of cool for later. Uh, about the author. Oh, I could put it in the boat. Books in the series. Praise for author. I don't know if I can. I'm not very good at praising myself. Afterward, acknowledgments. Standard page. Hmm. What would it look like as a, on a phone? Uh, okay, well, it messed up the top there. I wonder if this is like a work in progress. Uh, God, I, should, I can never read. Oh, that's. There we go. I'll scroll it. Uh, what about they read it sideways? Ooh. Yeah, the top is all jacked up. Not very good. Amazon. The only thing I'm having a problem with, though, is there's no spell checker or grammar checking dilly. Find. You can find stuff? Uh, let's see how well this works. Uh. Oops, tax broker. Find the next one. Yeah, cool. <sighs> anyway, um, well, there's really not much more to look at, I guess. Okay, so in reality, it probably works best as a formatting tool for Kindle Direct Publishing, but I don't know if I'd actually use it to write whatever I'm going to publish. Kindle Create seems simple enough. Uh, it has basic things that you need for your word processor. I do kind of like how it will format for you before you upload it to Kindle Create or uh, to Kindle Direct Publishing. I don't really like the idea of not having the grammar and spell checking abilities though. So probably what I'll wind up doing is importing all of the, everything I've done for my ebook into Grammarly, have it scan it, and then go from Grammarly to uh, Kindle Create just seems to be lacking a lot of tools that I'd rather have in a word processor. Then again, it's specifically designed for creating Kindle direct publishing stuff. So, but I'll probably wind up using it for a little bit so that I can give it a real review and we can go from there. So in a nutshell, it seems to be a bit limiting depending on the purpose. Like if I was going to create a fictional book, a full fledged fictional book, I probably wouldn't use this um, to write it. I would probably use something else and then maybe import it or perhaps even try a different app to save it as a as an ebook and then upload it to Kindle Direct that way. However, I don't really have a lot of experience with Kindle Direct in the first place. That's the whole purpose of this first ebook. So I'll probably just uh, chalk this one up to uh, it works. Uh, I'll play around with it some more and we'll see what we can do with it afterwards. Like I said, the only thing I'm really disappointed in is that it doesn't have any decent grammar or spell checking ability built into it. Hopefully Amazon adds that later on, but it'll be just as easy for me to copy and paste stuff into Grammarly, make my changes, and then paste it back into somewhere else. But I like using Grammarly anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And really, there's a lot of features in Kindle Create that I'll probably never use, like 
being able to add hyperlinks or video. But you never know, I might just create ebooks specifically and then use a different platform for writing the books I plan on printing. I'm still going to wind up printing this one just because I want a book with my name on it on the shelf behind me. But you know, Kindle Create is free and it works on PC and Mac, so you might as well give it a shot and see how well it works for you. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. For more videos about self-publishing, writing, freelance writing, textbook, or WordPress, or anything else I cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'll see you next time. I really need to get a better light.